All right, so this video right here, this video right here, I'm I don't even know where I want to go with this intro, um, because it's about a veteran. It's about a veteran, and I know that veterans are very beloved in this country, and I have a lot I want to say, but you know, what I'm saying I'll be trying to keep these um, intros to a certain time point, but. I have veteran parents, right? Both of my parents were in the military. That's where they met, right? So America is kind of weird when it comes to veterans, right? We, to each other, we all veterans and we love veterans. And veterans, veterans, USA, you, right? But then when veterans come back, you see a lot of veterans homeless, having mental health issues, no care, right? You see a lot of veterans try to speak out about what's happening overseas, you know, illegal things that, illegal war crimes and things. I've seen so many videos, and I like, I just like, I watch everything, y'all know. But I saw this one video of this guy was trying to speak out about illegal war crimes, and I've never seen a veteran get hushed, <laughs> get, get, I'm talking about removed from a room so fast, they got him up out of here. But in my mind, if we truly love veterans to say they, the way that we say we do, there shouldn't be a veteran. With the, there should be no reason why a veteran can't get a job. If it says veteran on your resume, you should be able to get a job. I'm not saying you need to be the 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 president of the NFL. I'm not saying that, but you should be able to have a job to where you can at least afford your own place. That's it. I if we truly love veterans the way we say we do, that's all I'm saying. But. Parts of this story are undisputed. For starters, Army Specialist Justin Perez Gorda was severely injured while serving our country in Afghanistan in January mm -hmm. 2011. Afghanistan. But parts of this story are very much in question tonight, specifically whether Perez Gorda is paralyzed, as he and his wife publicly claimed for years. I've seen So then should you discuss his injury or, I mean, disclose? If it's in question, what? how was he injured? What happened in Afghanistan? Was his arm blown off? Was it... Uh, uh, what happened? Was it a mental thing? What what happened? Perez Gorda is uh, paralyzed, as he and his wife publicly claimed for years. I've seen him with my own eyes, and that claim is not true. <laughs> this was former Army Specialist Justin Perez Gorda one month ago, unloading long pieces of lumber inside the garage of his Dripping Springs home. It was a much different sight than the one captured by cameras right before Christmas 2013. Very happy, we're excited to be here today. Neighbors, state dignitaries, and other wounded veterans greeted Perez Gorda as he, his wife, and their two daughters moved into a home with lowered countertops. Bro, so don't tell me. Bro pretended to be paralyzed and they gave him a house, bro. Bro pretended to be paralyzed. Look at the people you got supporting you. Like, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, come on, bro. You got people out here supporting. Scandalous. And this is another thing. We put these veterans on these pedestals, especially here in the South. I don't know where it is, where y'all are at, but in the South, veterans are beloved, right? But you have to remember, bro, veterans are people too, bro. They lie, they steal, they cheat, they rob, they do everything just like a regular person on the street would do, bro. You can't put stuff past people. And I understand they may not have known he's a veteran, let's take his word for it. But you st that still needs to... This is why you shouldn't be granting people houses. Give them a job to where they can afford the house and let them buy the house. Right? Not not just give them a house. That's in my opinion. But I mean, I'm just I'm just saying. Look at the house. Look at the house. Okay. Christmas 2013. Very happy. We're excited to be here today. Neighbors, state dignitaries, and other wounded veterans greeted. Other Perez wounded Gorda veterans. As he, bro. his wife, and their two daughters moved into a home with lowered countertops, wide hallways, and bathrooms specifically built to accommodate a person in a wheelchair. The home, appraised for more than $380,000, was built and paid for by the national nonprofit Homes for Our Troops. This year, suffered many traumatic injury and was left paraplegic. 
So you had these people pay for three, almost a four hundred thousand dollar house, and you not even paralyzed. And this stupid homie, like, oh my gosh, you hit a dummy lick. You have a house. I don't even think you have to work, and you can really walk. Why is your garage open? You just walking outside like people not gonna follow up on you. People not gonna come and knock on your door and say thank you for your service. Somebody not gonna try to greet you. Somebody not gonna try to do something. Stupid homie, bro. Dummy, dummy, you got a $400,000 house By the for the frisky, homes for and you troops. outside walking to your truck. This YouTube video was shot by Homes for Our Troops before it awarded the house to Perez Gorda and his wife. Executive Director Bill Ivey called it a video interview of sorts, later used to raise money to fund the new home. We're going to stay in this house and... It's going to be um, it's going to be our home. The interview contains sensitive and specific information about the extent of Justin's wartime injuries, which included a traumatic brain injury or TBI. He has permanent losses to both lower extremities. He's and paralyzed from the belly button down. <laughs> and this is the favoritism again, bro. Where are the charges? If they get away with no charges, this is it's so scandalous, bro. It's so scandalous. Cause let me do this. Let one of my homies do this. Let let let, let one 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 of the guys do this. We don't have veteran status under our name. We don't got no enough money to pay this back. We're going to jail. We're going to straight jail. Maybe even prison, bro. Depends on the judge. Depends on what they're going, what, you know, what they're going to charge you with. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Clank, clank. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. I'm locked up. If they don't get locked up, bro, favoritism. That's all I'm gonna say. Favoritism. It's not. It's not what you know. It's who you know and who you are. That money. That power is real. You'll notice. Police officers, a lot of times, get off unscathed. Veterans. Pretty sure he's going to get off on skate. We are, we've yet to see him, so let's put a tech in that. Judges. If y'all watch A&E, y'all see how many times judges break the law? How, how, how judges move? How congressmen move? How politicians move? What type of criminals they are? And they don't get charged. They get off scot-free? Entertainers. So that money, that, that status that, that come with your name, man, is it, it, scandalous every time. It's scandalous. It's scandalous. Permanent loss he used to both lower extremities. Very scandalous, He's bro. paralyzed from the belly button down. Shut up. Perez Gorda made the same claim when Ken's Five spoke with him in April 2012. I'm paralyzed. I have a TBI. The medical assertion fell apart almost as soon as the Perez Gordas rolled out the welcome mat. Within weeks, in January 2015, members of the community began to see something incredible. Justin walking around his property with no wheelchair in sight. This is the when approached stupidest. about Justin's recovery I've from never, paralysis, I've never, the couple bro. became angry and withdrawn, according to Dripping Springs residents we spoke with, who asked us not to reveal their names. Their concerns made it to homes for our troops, which repeatedly reached out to Justin last year. He did not respond to their inquiries, according to... Duh! Y'all gave this man a $400,000 house. He hit y'all for a lick. And y'all thought he was going to DM y'all back? Y'all thought he was going to call y'all back? So what? Y'all could just be like, oh, okay, you got me. I'll give the house back. What are you thinking? That's done, bro. <laughs> Unless the government kind of could step in and take the house back. And, you know, fraud. Can you even... Can you... Fraud, Right? Right? And how dumb do you have to be, bro? Not years. Not a decade later they saw you walking outside. Weeks, bro. This is still fresh. This house was not here two weeks ago. Now it's here. And you in the suburbs. Your neighbors are nosy. They're watching you. Hey, everybody in the suburbs. Every neighbor on the block is part of the neighborhood watch, bro. Because everybody house get watched, bro. You think they're not watching your house, dummy, idiot, fool? I don't like, I don't like you, bro. If I was there right now, I'd stop the back of so hard. So, <coughs> late last just, year, an employee oh. for Homes for Our Troops drove from Alabama to Texas to investigate. So now you got the bro driver from Alabama to Texas. Justin refused to come out of a back bedroom. 
The employee talked to Justin's wife for 45 minutes, but left town without any answers. We hear that phrase a lot, permanently paralyzed or paralyzed from the belly button down or the waist down. Um, is that phrase used too much? It is. Dr. Jesse never, Neely, formerly of Brook Army Medical Center's Warrior Clinic, is now the medical director of Reeves Rehabilitation Center at University Hospital. He says a traumatic brain injury alone rarely causes paralysis from the waist down. It has to actually be some kind of spinal cord injury. Correct. My rehab. So what were Perez Gorda's injuries? He qualified for the home after completing the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs grant process for specially adapted housing and... Investigate them too, bro. <laughs> they might just be passing out. Investigate everybody from the top down. So you mean to tell me how many people watch the news? How big is Texas? How many people live in Texas? How many doctors work in the area? How many doctors that deal with spinal cord injuries, brain injuries, that are qualified to speak on this, live in the area? And you tell me not one of them saw this was like, hey, this don't sound right. I've never heard somebody be paralyzed from the belly button down from that type of injury, bro. This don't sound right. Let me make a call. Well, then, <laughs> on the other hand, y'all could be like me, and I'm like, bro, I'm not calling the Johnnies on them. <laughs> I'm minding my business. I promise. I promise. But... Y'all couldn't call nobody. Y'all couldn't call nobody. If it, hey, I've investigated everybody. I'm calling the DA, the Attorney and General. What's up, Biden? Check. We got to get in the on Army this. confirmed to the I-team, Perez Gorda was medically retired from the military, but his medical records are sealed. He in there. Homes for our so, oh, so, 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 let me ask this. <laughs> so, let me ask this. Let me ask this. <laughs> And, I, and this is a very serious question, very serious, and I don't need no insults, because I genuinely want to know, to you real patriotic people out there, right, what's more disrespectful, a veteran lying to get a $400,000 house, right, saluting the flag. He's not paralyzed. He's pretending to be paralyzed, saluting the flag. Straight up lies on lies on lies on lies in his front yard in front of the $4,000 house they just gave this man for not being paralyzed, right? To me, disrespectful is like very high. Now, what's more disrespectful, that or Colin Kaepernick taking a knee after he asked the Marine what's the best way to protest without being disrespectful to a flag and the Marine told him to take a knee you know, let me know. They're sealed. Homes for our troops now believes Perez Gorda actually has an incomplete spinal cord injury. Dr. Neely, who did not treat Perez Gorda, says patients do not recover from these type of traumatic injuries. In weeks, quickly. bro. Where are they usually at In one weeks, month after bro. being wheelchair bound? They would be in outpatient physical therapy, utilizing a walker, or other uh, sort of uh, assistive device to walk. Last month, we made a trip to Dripping Springs and sure enough oh, saw what neighbors have seen for 17 months. Stupid. Justin Perez you know, back the walking, car up. then carrying you wood. Hey, Justin? Oh, he stood face to face with us as he threw us off his property. We covered the building of his house back in 2013. You go in the gym. Go in the gym. Oh, he done a sleep. Home for our yeah, troops, Executive that, though, Director bro. Bill Ivey released the following statement to the I team quote, Obviously, there is something out there we missed. You think? Homes for our troops continues to assess the situation and is weighing our options. Ivey said taking back the home is on the table, but as a last resort. Justin's body. Why would it be a lot? This is what I'm saying, bro. Even still, they still giving him this leniency, bro. If it's you, if it's me, you are not getting this. We're not getting that, bro, at all. You will be homeless on the street doing house fraud like this. I don't even know what the, the legal name for it is, but it's all types of fraud. <laughs> it's all types of fraud, bro. This is cr So, if y'all not going to take the house, what's the punishment? He just gets off scot-free? Hmm? Y'all could have gave that to an actual veteran who's actually disabled. Hmm? Y'all let me know. But, like I was saying, bro, 
This is why I think the houses may not, because you're going to have too many people like this out trying to finesse the system. The houses may not be the best thing to do, bro. There should be a government thing that all veterans are able to have jobs that pay enough that to where they can at least afford a studio apartment at the very least. Now, if they want to spend that money on alcohol, drugs, and whatever, that's on them, bro. It's your money. Spend it on what you want. But just giving out houses, you're going to run into too many people like this. Who's investigating the wife? Who's investigating the mom? Investigate the whole family. I, we have how many? We have 22 seconds. Nobody's going to be putting handcuffs. Kyle was recently updated to say he was diagnosed with incomplete paraplegia and not permanent paralysis. Ivy said he made the change kind of convenient, after re-examining right? Justin's medical records. I spoke with Justin's wife, Josephine, for an hour yesterday. She slammed homes for our troops and said the nonprofit has known for years her husband is able to walk. How? If y'all pulled up in a wheelchair, bro. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Take, put them Now, they should be the only homeless veteran uh, uh, family in America. That's my opinion, bro. That or what we should do is all lo calling all local uh, paralyzed veterans. All the not even paralyzed. Let's do all disabled veterans within the local area. We're going to line them up one by one. They can choose to have a weapon or no weapon, bro. And they just get to hit you one time with whatever they got. Just one get time. They just get one hit and then they go home. One hit, go home. One hit, go home. One hit, go home. Because you, you take it from people that really need, bro. It's not my world to where you only get the money, you don't get the house. We live in this reality where you get the house for free. It's designed for people who are not 100% able to do for themselves. And you took that opportunity from somebody. You took a free house from somebody, bro. How dare you, bro? Nasty, disgusting, bro. I hope all the homies, all the, the whole neighborhood, where's the neighborhood? Watch now. Watch the house, and when he step outside, stomp a mud hole in his behind, bro. Nasty. I don't like, bro. Anyway, that's all I got for the video. This one kind of pissed me off toward the end. Um, that's it. I'm out.